All right, what's going on guys? I just wanted to make a quick updated video about the Verizon Unlimited data plan that's coming out soon. So I am on a treadmill. I haven't been on a treadmill in probably like half a year. Might be longer, it might be more than a year. But uh, I'm just doing it for about an hour. I already finished my first 30 minutes. Now I'm just about halfway to the second 30. About 15 minutes left on my timer, and uh, yeah, my distance is about eight to eight to nine miles for the 30. So not too bad. Definitely out of shape. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. You can't see it from the shadow, but oh my god, it's painful. There are uh, two key differences. I just want to compare the safety mode option and then the new unlimited data plan so right off the bat safety mode you're getting hit with super slow speeds much slower than 3g i'm sure it's slower than edge but it's unusable unless you're just checking emails not worth it now let's talk about the new verizon unlimited plan so first Let's say you have a single line and you only have one line on your account. With the new unlimited plan, it's 65 bucks a month. And then there's a $20 line access fee. So that comes up to be 85 bucks. And then Verizon will take $5 off your monthly bill once you sign up for their auto pay and paperless billing. If you have two lines of service, then you pay 120 bucks, which ends up being 60 bucks a month per line. And that includes line access fee and the discount that they give you for the auto pay and paperless billing. Now, if you have three lines, that goes to 160 bucks a month. That comes out to be about 53, 54 per line, which isn't too bad for three lines. And with a family of four, it'll be 45 bucks a month per line. That's an amazing value, very good deal. And if you have more than four people in the family, you can add additional lines up to 10 for a family. And that is 20 bucks per line. That's a great deal. It's all thanks to T-Mobile for changing the wireless industry. So some of the features, the number one feature is the, of course, the high-speed data, but you are allowed up to 22 gigs of high-speed data. Once you pass 22, they may deprioritize you during those peak hours for like those rush hour times from like three to six, three to seven, and maybe even lunchtime. But outside of that, you're still gonna get the full LTE high-speed data. It's not like the other guys where they're gonna reduce your speeds to edge once you use up your high speed data, but it's not like that. This is truly unlimited. Well, not truly, but you get the point. So that's gonna be big. Um, again, you may not even see the reduced speeds, especially if you're not in the highly condensed areas. So huge metropolitan areas, highways where there's a lot of cars, you may see reduced speeds, but not for the whole day. Only those peak hours, rush hour times. And again, you may not even see the reduced speeds. And you might just get high speed data throughout the whole month. So the second feature on the list that I want to talk about is personal hotspot. Each line gets 10 gigs of high speed LTE data to use for personal hotspots. So other devices can connect to your smartphone or tablets. And the next feature is if you're traveling to and from Canada and or Mexico, you can use your limited text and voice in those countries. You can use your high speed data of only 500 megabytes, but hey, it's still free and you can use that per day. If you're in a different country that supports this Verizon Unlimited plan, with the uh, other carriers in the country you're in. You can use 500 megabytes of LTE data for $10 additional on top of your plan. It's not too bad. 
you actually might find a better deal in the country you're currently at or visiting with their carrier of choice. And then the final feature I want to talk about is content streaming. So video streaming. Verizon, you can stream up to 720p, which is superior compared to T-Mobile's 480p on their unlimited plan. So it looks like they are trying to compete, try to make it look better, which honestly it is better, but you are using more data with a higher definition streaming. Just an FYI, not a lot of people know about that. But then again, with a, a smartphone, are you really gonna see a difference? I mean, I guess it really depends on the screen size, but it doesn't bother me if it streams 480p or 720p. It doesn't really bother me. Oh, just finished that. Ooh. All right, oh man, my legs are killing me. Oh. <laughs> oh, my legs, my thighs, my knees. Oh. So I wanna know if you guys are gonna switch to the new Verizon Unlimited plan. I know a lot of past customers switched over to AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile. Um, I wanna know. Are you guys gonna be switching back to Verizon? Or are you guys happy with your current provider and don't wanna switch back? Oh man. I need to do more of this on a daily because my goodness.